Hi guys, this is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. I am your Saturday vlogger, Sunny Day, or Anne, uh, depending on what you feel like calling me today. Uh, this week's topic, and you'll have to forgive me, I am without internet today. And so I can't even look up what the topic is supposed to be, but I remember from watching all the other lovely ladies' videos that the topic is actually um, your relationship with food. So, my relationship with food. I think Ms. Janie said it really well when she said it's complicated. It is. Why is it complicated? Because I make it complicated. Why else? Why do I make it complicated? Because the more complicated it is, the less likely I am to ever tackle it for real. You know, <laughs> There's a reason they say that problems are only too big to tackle when you look at them in the wrong way. It's the same thing with food. Look, I like food. I like food a lot. I'm a food addict. I'm a food hoarder. Um, I still order my own food at restaurants. Yeah, I know. I admit it. I do. I cannot bear the thought of not having the option to eat more if there's not enough on that plate. Um, do I need psychological help for that? Absolutely. No doubt about it. Um, have I gotten help for it? In the past. Since surgery? No. Why? Well, I think because there's a part of me that still hangs on to the hope that I can beat this on my own, <laughs> right? <laughs> I can be that heroin addict who miraculously, after 20 years of being horribly addicted to heroin and ruining their lives, manages to tie themselves up in their own bathroom and kick the, kick the habit over a week's course of time or however long. Never been a heroin addict, I don't know how long it takes to kick, but... so. Yeah, I'm a food addict. No, I'm not getting help for it. Yes, I need to. I know this much is true. So what do you do? What do I do? Well, there's a couple things I do. I try to distract myself. I make other things important um, in the meantime until I finally get up the nerve to go get the help I actually need. I make other things important. What does that mean? Well, there's something for me that is incredibly satisfying in making a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. I don't know what is it, what it is, why that's satisfying for me, but it is. It's incredibly satisfying. It's like this this feeling of tradition and excitement. I'm doing something really special for myself. So in my cupboard you will find right this second about eight different kinds of herbal tea. And I'll show you here in a sec. Oh. This is my, um, I call this Angie's closet. This is my dressing room of sorts. It's a spare bedroom that I just repurposed to be where I keep my, my makeup, my jewelry, perfume, wardrobe. Um, but right here, let's see if you can see this. That is my little coffee stand because I always have a lovely cup of coffee while I'm up here. It's a little gift to myself. So when I do those things, when I think about making myself a nice cup of coffee, and, and not just any, I mean, a cup of coffee replete with whipped cream on top and some cinnamon sprinkled on and, you know, milk, steamed milk in it. That to me is a really big deal. Um, it's a way of showing myself you're worth it. And it's a way that I distract myself from food. It's weird, I know. Everybody's, I've got a girlfriend whose way of distracting herself from food was snacking. 
<laughs> but snacking on healthy foods. And she managed to lose like 80 pounds doing it that way. She would pull out a little 100 calorie snack and that was her way of not going bananas at the, you know, old country buffet, all you can eat, whatever you happen to enjoy. But my mother shops, buys herself tons and tons and tons of handbags and purses and clothing and half of it she never wears. She just gave me a whole bunch of clothing that she can't fit into that still had all the tags on it. And I guarantee you is over 10 years old just based on the styles of the clothes she gave me. Anyway, what's my point? My point is we all have a relationship with food. Even those of us who are not addicted to it have a relationship with food. We all have our crosses to bear in one way or another. We all have a reason we got to where we are. We all fall down sometimes. I have trail mix right now, which is, believe it or not, trail mix not just the good stuff with the cranberries you know dried cranberries or whatever in it I'm talking trail mix like with the chocolate and yogurt covered raisins that's the good stuff right I have that in a canister downstairs right now uh, because it was on sale and my husband likes it too and I have been munching on it every morning when I get home from work I haven't lost an ounce this week I wonder why. My relationship with food. So, I guess in the end, what it comes down to is any relationship, whether it be food or family, <laughs> marriage, even a failing relationship, affects your life and requires constant attention and care. What happens to a relationship when you don't care for it? You guys know this. It withers and dies. I think the answer is to stop caring about food. I just don't know how. If I figure it out, I'll let you know. In the meantime, I'll put on my makeup and I'll make it look really pretty for you guys because the truth is not so pretty. My relationship with food is incredibly complicated and it is ongoing. I'm six months out from surgery and I still struggle with it. I still hoard it. I still am tempted at times to go off into a room by myself and eat it. I'm not cured. <laughs> Far from it. If nothing else, this the surgery has pointed out more about my psychological issues with food than I ever imagined I had. But I know I'll get through it. Right? We all will. One way or another. We'll get through it. So, that is my video. Not so uplifting today. I'm working it though. That's why we have the rules. That's why we have the program. It's why we have all the things that remind us Every time I take a handful of that trail mix that I'm really not supposed to be eating and I have an extra handful of it just because it tastes so good I know this is my relationship with food and I'm currently tending the fire. One day I'll stop tending that fire and that relationship will wither and die, hopefully. Until then, have a good one.